So here we meet again trying to learn the two-phase method of solving a linear problem using simplex method. Now today we'll take a maximization question. So let me put the question over there and then we'll talk about it. We have a maximization function 2x1 minus x2 minus x3 subject to x1 plus x2 minus 3 x3 less than equal to 8. Even you could write down this on a piece of paper so that we can practice together. You can pause the question wherever you feel like and then we can practice it together. 4x1 minus x2 plus x3 greater than equal to 2. Then there is a 2x1 plus 3x2, 2x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 greater than equal to 4 subject to finally the physical constraints or the non-negativity constraints that is none of the variables x1, x2, x3 can go beyond 0, below 0. So this is our problem for the day. And we will see what we can do with it. Now, if we have a look at the constraints, this is less than type constraint. Beautiful. This will use, make use of a slack variable. But these two are greater than kind of constraints. Now, greater than kind of constraints make use of a surplus variable, minus s. And because of this minus s, we further go ahead and make use of a plus a, an artificial variable. So, these two are the reasons why we are going into the artificial area, artificial variable zone. And with artificial variables, we either make use of the big M method or the two-phase method. Big M method we have practiced earlier. Right now, we are practicing two-phase method. So let us get on with our first phase, phase 1. What is the phase? first phase? Converting this canonical into standard form and thereby solving it using simplex, making use of auxiliary function. So let me convert it into x1 plus x2 minus 3x3. This is less than, so it will be a plus s1 is equal to 8. Next one would be 4x1 minus x2 plus x3. Now because this is greater, I will be having a minus s2 and then I will be having a plus a2. Last one would be a 2x1 plus 3x2 minus x3 greater than, so it will be a minus s3 plus a3 is equal to 4. All inequalities have been converted into equalities and the auxiliary function would be z max include all variables here. We have x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, s3, a2, a3 include all variables over here. And multiply all variables with 0 except for artificial, meaning 0x1, 0x2, 0x3, 0s1, 0s2, all variables are multiplied to 0. Coefficients of all variables are made as 0. What about artificial variables? For the first time, we are taking a maximization problem. For maximization, we multiply it to minus 1. In big M, we used to take minus M. But right now, we will take minus 1. Because in two phase, we are not taking that M case. Minus 1 into A2. And this will become minus 1 into A3. So this is my auxiliary function. This is my auxiliary function. If you go out to find out the IBFS, what will be the IBFS? What will be the IBFS? 
all decision variables and slack surplus are made zero oh sorry all decision and surplus are made zero all decision and surplus will be made zero so what do we get zero plus zero plus zero s1 is equal to eight from here we'll get all zero a2 is equal to 2 and lastly we'll get a3 is equal to this is my ibfs now can we have our table we have a b and theta then there is a2 and a3 a3 and a2 then there are s3 s2 s1 x2 x1 with contributions cj zero everything is zero and artificials are minus one this time up till last problem we were taking plus one because we were having problems of minimization this time i have a problem of maximization so for max it is minus one and my ibfs is s1 is equal to eight a2 and a3 is equal to 2 and 4 and now let me put in these constraints so it is a 1 1 minus 3 1 1 oops there is an x3 also we missed it we have x3 x2 x1 contribution of 0 ibfs is s18 a2 is 2 and a3 is 4 and their contributions are s1 is contribution is 0 a2 and a3 are minus 1 and now we can have our constraints we have a 1 1 minus 3 1 1 minus 3 then there is a 1 0 0 0 0 for second one we'll, we'll have a 4 minus 1 1 4 minus 1 and 1 s1 s2 are 4 minus 1 1 s1 is not there s2 is minus 1 s3 is not there a2 is there and last one would be a 2 3 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 then there is an s3 0 0 we can check our identity matrix s1 s1 is 1 remaining column is 0 a2 a2 is 1 remaining column is 0 a3 a3 is 1 remaining column is 0 these were the contributions can we have zj and then further this time because it is maximization maximization demands that we make use of cj minus zj maximization demands cj minus zj as net evolution row so here i'll be having cj minus zj as my net evolution row what will be zj all these will get multiplied to zero so they are irrelevant this will become minus 4 and minus 2 minus 6 1 and minus 3 minus 2 this will become a minus 1 and plus 1 making it 0 0 this will become 1 minus 1 into minus 1 now you can pause this video over here and try it yourself also write down the question go with the ibfs make this first row and try to solve it yourselves and then we'll tell you from here if we are on same frequency or not so we get a 0 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 this is zj we need cj minus zj 0 minus 6 6 2 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 and 0.
zero minus six, zero minus two, zero minus zero, zero minus zero, zero minus one, zero minus one, minus one, minus minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. So all these are zero or negative. So we can ignore them. But this is most positive, giving me my key column. And how do I decide upon my key row from theta, which is b divided by key column? Let us mark this key column over here. This key column, b divided by key column, eight divided by one, eight, two divided by four, half, four divided by two, two. Half is least positive, giving me key row. And now you can go ahead and. Mark your key row also. So here is my key row and here is my key element. Now we have practiced enough questions, so we know how do we transfer this matrix to our new matrix. This is our first matrix of first phase. The new matrix would be incoming variable is x one. And outgoing variable is a two. A two is outgoing variable. So from here on, we will not be talking about a two. Our last variable would be a three. Then there is a there is an s three, s two, s one, x three, x two, x one. Contributions are zero, 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 and minus one. Here, what is the scenario? S one is still holding on, not going anywhere. A two has been kicked out by x one. A two is the outgoing variable. X one is the incoming variable. So A two is replaced by x one. A three is still holding on. We have contributions. We have z j. And because it is maximization, we get C J minus Z J. C J minus Z J. Now see, when you refer to different books, they might take the steps differently. So in operation research, it is always suggested that we make our own method and then we adapt and follow that method, adopt and follow that method. Because there are subtle differences. If you study across books. Across authors, you might get confused. So you pick up your particular author and then follow the rules. So if you are watching these videos, let us solve these using our rules, and then we'll tell you the final answer. Because what we are using here is a very solid, simple method of simplex. We are not making lot many assumptions like the other authors do. We are following our simplex, simple simplex algorithm. We use the same algorithm for simplex. We use the same algorithm for big M method. We are using the same algorithm for two-phase method. We use the same algorithm for maximization and minimization. So you can stick with one method. There can be subtle differences across books and authors. In any case, now we need to transfer. Uh, what are the contributions? X zero zero and a three is contributing minus one. Now we need to transfer these rows to our new matrix. How do we transfer? Key row gets divided by key element. All elements here will be divided by four. What do you get? One. I'm writing it over. One minus one by four. One by four. One minus one by four. One by four. Zero minus one by four. Zero and a two is gone. A three makes it zero, and B would become two by four. That is half. So we have transferred our key row to the new matrix. Then the formula is old row first row needs to be transferred. Old row one minus key column element one multiplied by modified key row is equal to new row one. Old row one, one one minus three one zero zero. 
वन वन माइनस थ्री वन जीरो जीरो ए टू वी आर इग्नोरिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑनवर्ड्स बिकॉज ए टू हैज बिकम आउट गोइंग वेरिएबल सो ए टू विल नॉट बी कैलकुलेटिंग ए थ्री इज वन वन माइनस थ्री वन 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 माइनस थ्री वन जीरो 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 एंड लास्ट वन इज एट माइनस की कॉलम एलिमेंट वन की कॉलम एलिमेंट वन मल्टीप्लाइड और मॉडिफाइड कीरो हियर इज आर मॉडिफाइड कीरो व्हाट इज इट वन then it is a minus 1 by 4 so i'll put a 1 by 4 over here and minus will come here then there is a 1 by 4 then there is a 0 then there is another minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 then there are two zeros and finally there is a half this becomes 0 4 plus 1 5 by 4 this will become minus 12 and 1 Minus thirteen by four. One, one by four, zero, zero. Eight minus half would be sixteen minus one, fifteen by two. This is my new row. One, zero, five by four, minus thirteen by four. One, one by four. Zero zero fifteen by two. Now the beauty of two phase method is, although these are so complex numbers, five by four, thirteen by four, still they'll get multiplied to zero for z j. So this is the beauty of two phase method, that it avoids the complex calculations to a large extent. So we have transferred our first row. Now we need to transfer the third row also. Or third row will make it old row three key column element three, giving me new row three. Old row three, old row three is this. Remember, we will not be picking eight values of a two. So it is two three minus one, two three minus one, zero zero minus one, two three minus one, zero zero minus one. This zero we are ignoring because it is a two. Finally, one and four. One and four minus key column element three. Key column element three. Modified key row. Well, this is the modified key row. Second one was the key row. So it is modified key row is. One minus one by four minus coming here. One by four zero minus one by four so minus will come here. One by four will stay over there. Zero zero and finally we have a half. So we get two minus two zero. This would become a four threes are twelve. Twelve and two, fourteen by four. This will become a minus four and two. Minus six by four. Zero. Mm, everything is four, so we'll leave this also as two by four. Minus one one. Four minus one is three. So it becomes zero. Fourteen by four. We didn't cancel this two by four. We kept it as two by four because everything is upon four. So we'll leave it as four only. So zero fourteen by four minus six by four. Then there is a zero two by four minus one one and three. Now we have our new matrix. We can find out our zjs. Zjs are product of every column with respective contributions so these two are zero anything multiplied to first row is zero 
anything in second row will be multiplied to zero so we can simply ignore it so all these will be zeros in my calculation this will become zero minus 14 by 4 6 by 4 0 minus 2 by 4 1 and minus 1 3. this becomes my zj now i can have cj minus zj cj minus zj 0 cj minus zj 14 by 4 minus 6 by 4 0 2 by 4 minus 1 and 0 so we have certain negative values but then there are certain positive values also this is almost 0 0.5 while this will be 3.5 so this is most positive most positive gives me my key column my incoming variable x2 is the next incoming variable i have my key column with me and theta will give me my key row the outgoing variable x2 is coming in but in place of whom we will decide with the theta 15 by 2 divided by 5 by 4 15 by 2 divided by 5 by 4 from now onwards i won't be writing it like this we will straightly fl directly flip it so 15 by 2 this flip would make it a 4 by 5 if you cancel them you get 5 3 it is a 6 and this would make it a something negative half divided by minus 1 by 4 would be a negative you need not calculate also because i need least positive negative is not considered 3 divided by 14 by 4 3 divided by 14 by 4 i'll directly flip it it will become a 12 by 14 this is 6 this is negative negative is left 6 and this is less than 1 12 by 14 is less than 1 so this is the smallest value giving me my key row so now i have my key row i have my key column intersection of these two will give me my key element this is my key element and key element will give me a start for my next matrix because the complete key row will be divided by key elements so this time what i'll do is i'll put that table here only we have our first table we have our second table let us say i'll put my third table over here We have P and theta. Now, this time outgoing variable is A3. So, even A3 will be ignored from here on. Earlier only A2 was ignored. From now on, A3 is also ignored. So, what I get is X1, X2, X3, S1, S2 and S3. with their contributions of 0 for all. And S1 is intact, X1 is intact, they are not going anywhere. This A3 will be replaced by x2 we have cj zj cj minus zj why cj minus zj because of this maximization what are their contributions s1 zero everybody is contributing zero only now divide complete key row by 14 by 4. Let us see what do we get? 0, this will become a 1, minus 6 by 4 divided by 14 by 4. Divided by 14 by 4 is equal to multiply by 4 by 14. 2 3s are 6, 2 7s are 14, minus 3 by 7. Then there is a 0, 
divided by anything then there is a 2 by 4 divided by 14 by 4 1 by 7 this one s2 is 2 by 4 divided by 14 by 4 divided by 14 by 4 can be written as multiplied by 4 by 14 so we have this and last one is minus 1 a3 will be ignoring so last one is one, minus 1 minus 1 divided by 14 by 4 making it minus 4 by 14 or you could make it 2 by 7 we are making it 2 by 7 because everything is cancelling down and coming down to 2 by 7 only then this will be 3 divided by 3 divided by 14 by 4 3 divided by 14 by 4 mm, 2 and 7 it will make a 6 by 7 so we have transferred the key row to our new table now we need to transfer the remaining ones the rule for remaining ones is first row old row 1 minus key column element 1 multiplied by modified key row is equal to new row 1 what do we have we have a 0 5 by 4 13 by minus 13 by 4 1 1 by 4 0 a 3 will be ignoring and last one in this is 15 by 2 minus key column element 1 key column element 1 is 5 by 4 multiplied by modified key row this is the modified key row uh, sorry, this is the modified key row 0, 1, minus 3 by 7. So, minus will sit here 3 by 7. 0, 1 by 7, minus 2 by 7. So, 2 by 7 sits here, minus goes here and finally, we have a 6 by 7. So, this becomes a 0, this becomes a 0 then this will become minus 91 plus 15 minus 76 upon 28 this will become a 1 this will become a minus 7 minus 5 minus 12 by 28 this will come down to 10 by 28 and finally, we have 15 multiplied by, um, we could cancel it to get, make it easier, 2 and 3. Now, this becomes 15 into 7 is 105, 105 minus 15, 19, 105 minus 15 would be a 90 by 14. Is that fine? We had a 5 by 4, then there was a 6 by 7, 5 by 4, 6 by 7 cancelled out. This becomes 2, 105, 105, 90 by 14. Fine. So, this is our first row. What do we have? 0, 0, minus 76 by 28, minus 76 by 28, 1 minus 12 by 28, 1 minus 12 by 28, 10 by 28. 10 by 28 and last one is 90 by 14. This is our first row transfer to our next matrix. And finally, we need to transfer our second row. So, these subscripts instead of 1 will now become old row 2, key column element 2 and new row 2. Old row 2, 1 minus 1 by 4. 1 by 4, 0, minus 1 by 4, 0, 1 minus 1 by 4, 1 by 4 and 0, minus 1 by 4 and 0, A3 we are ignoring and last one is half, minus key column element 2, key column element 2, minus 1 by 4, 
So it is a minus 1 by 4 making all of these plus. Old row 2 minus key column element 2. Now because this was negative, it made positive. Everything became positive. Multiplied by modified key row. Here is a modified key row. Multiplied by modified key row, which is 0, 1 minus 3 by 7. 0, 1 by 7 minus 2 by 7. And last one is 6 by 7. This becomes a 0. This again becomes a 0. You will get a 7 over here. 7 minus 3 would make a 4 by 28. This is 0. You will get a minus 7 over here. Minus 7 plus 1. Minus 6 by 28. 0, this was 2 by 7. Minus 2 by 7. You get minus 2 by 28. We are not cancelling them because everything is coming down to 28. We will see if need arise, arises. And this can be simplified 2 and 3 thereby making it 7, 7 plus 3 is 10 by 14. So we have our second row as 0, 0, 4 by 28, 0 minus 6 by 28, minus 2 by 28 and last one is 10 by 14. So this is our second row. First row, second row and key row. First table, second table and this is our third table. Now, before we proceed with Cj minus Zj or Zj, let us check if we are on right track. S1, S1 was 1, remaining column was 0, identity, we are checking the identity. A2, A2 is 1, remaining column is 0. A3, A3 is 1, remaining column is 0. Then S1, S1 was 1, remaining column was 0. X1, X1 was 1, remaining column was 0. A3, A3 was 1, remaining column was 0. And this time around, S1, S1 is 1, remaining column is 0. X1, X1, we have done something wrong. X1, X1 should have been 1. So we catch it that something is wrong. X2, X2 is 1, everything is 0. So something has gone wrong in second column. We will have to check it once again. What was this? Here we have. Okay, it is not 1. It is 1 plus 0. So this should have been a 1. Here we can see that how powerful this identity matrix is. We caught this mistake over here. Because x1, x1 should be 1, everything else should be 0. So you should keep, a, keep an eye on identity matrix. If identity matrix is in, on track, by and large we are on track. So identity matrix, we missed this thing. This was one, this is one, everything is intact. We can remove it and now we can find out ZJs for our third matrix. What are ZJs? Columns multiplied by contributions. Everything will be a zero. Why everything is zero? Because they will get multiplied to zeros. CJ minus ZJ. 0 minus 0. Net evaluation is completely 0. When net evaluation row is 0, we say that we have reached optimization, optim optimum solution in first phase. We started with auxiliary function, second table, third table. After third table, we see that we have all zeros or negative values in the net evaluation row thereby indicating that this marks the end of first phase. Now we can start with our second phase. Let us start our second phase. What is second phase? Second phase is simply copying this matrix with new contributions. I will go ahead with same matrix 
but this time I'll be having my new contributions x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 s3 b and theta these lines never come up correct they're always slanting now the contributions this time won't be the auxiliary rather they'll be the original ones what are those 2 minus 1 and minus 1 2 minus 1 and minus 1 remaining everything is 0 slacks at plus are always 0 here we have s1 x1 x2 and remaining everything is 0 0 minus 76 by 28 1 minus 12 by 28 10 by 28 and 90 by 14 this one would be 1 0 4 by 28 0 minus 6 by 28 minus 2 by 28 10 by 14 0 1 minus 3 by 7 0 1 by 7 minus 2 by 7 and so I have picked up the exact same matrix but with new contributions original contributions what are these original contributions s1 is 0 x1 is 2 x2 is minus 1 now when we have cj's let me find out zj's and finally i'll find out cj minus zj to check my net evaluation row if there is any scope for improvement possible so this First row will always be multiplied with 0, so they will not contribute to anything. This will be multiplied to 2 and this will be multiplied to minus 1. So let us see. 2, this will become a minus 1, this will become an 8, and this will become a 3, 7, 4 are 28, 12, 12 and 8, this will become a 20 by 28, 7, 4s are 28, 4, 3s are 12 and 8. This will become a 0. This 1 by 7 we can write down as 4 by 28. Why 4 by 28? So that we can operate on this. This 2 by 7 can be written as 7, 4s are 28, 2, 4s are 8, minus 8 by 28. So that the operations is are easier. This is a minus 12 and a minus 4 making it minus 16 by last one would be a minus 4 plus 8 minus 4 plus 8 would make a 4 by 28 this is our zj now when we have zj we can find out cj minus zj which will be our net evaluation row 2 minus 2 is 0 minus 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 1 minus minus 20 by 28 minus 1 minus 20 by 28 making it minus 28 and 20 minus 48 by 28 this will be a 0 16 by 28 and minus 4 by 28 so as far as all these values are concerned they are either 0 or negative but then there is a positive value giving me my next key column the solution right now can be further improved if i bring s2 in place of some of these i'm not sure where but if i bring in s2 somewhere my per unit of s2 that i increase my profit will go up by 16 by 28 so i have my key column here is my key column and then key row will be decided by theta dividing b by these now when we try to divide b by this this divided by this something negative rejected 10 by 14 divided by negative something negative 6 divided by 7 
सिक्स अपॉन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर बाय ट्वेंटी एट बी बाय ए फॉर थीटा थीटा इज सिंपली बी बाय ए दिस विल बी समथिंग पॉजिटिव सो दीज टू आर रिजेक्टेड ऑब्वियसली दिस इज द ओनली वैल्यू विच विल बी पॉजिटिव गिविंग मी माई की रो सो दिस टेल्स मी दैट एक्स टू इज मूविंग आउट एक्स टू इज मेकिंग वे X2 is making way for S2. X2 is out. S2 is in. So now we need some space. We'll have to remove some of the matrices. We'll remove this one. This will not be our second matrix. First, second, third. This was fourth. First matrix of second phase, but in all it was fourth. And now, hence, this becomes my fifth matrix. Contributions of x one, x two, x three are two minus one and minus one. B and theta. S one, X one are still intact, but X two is out. S two is coming in, so we get S one, X one, S two with respective contributions of zero, zero, and X one is contributing two. Now key row will be transferred to the new place after being divided by. Key element. This is my key element. Key row, key column, key element. We'll divide all these by key element, making it zero. Twenty-eight by four would be a seven. Then this would be minus three by seven divided by. Four by twenty-eight, seven four four. This will become a minus three. This one would become a zero. This will become a one. And finally, we have a minus eight by twenty-eight divided by four by twenty-eight two. And last one is six by seven. Six by seven divided by four by twenty-eight. Get six. So we have transferred our key row to our new matrix after dividing all elements of key row by key element. And remaining, we have that formula. What is that formula? I'll make use of some other color so that we do not confuse it. The formula is: you need to transfer first row. It will be. Old row one minus key column element one multiplied by modified key row is equal to new row one. Old row one. What do we have? Zero zero minus seventy six by twenty eight. Then there is a one minus twelve by twenty eight. Then there is a ten by twenty eight. Then there is a ninety by fourteen. Ninety by fourteen. One two three four five six and seven. One two three four five six and seven. Old row one minus key column element one. Key column element one. Element one is minus twelve by twenty eight. So minus will eat up all these. Twelve by twenty eight. Twelve by twenty eight. And then they'll be multiplied by modified key row. Here is the modified key row. We have zero seven minus three, zero one minus two, and finally we have a six.
what do we get zero and zero would make it as zero here we have seven fours are 28 four three we get a three we have a 28 on either side then this will become a 12 threes are 36 minus 36 minus 36 100 and 12 minus 112 by 28 can this be cancelled uh, 4 yes this will become a minus 4 then this would become a 1 minus 12 by 28 plus 28 0 this is a 12 into 2 24 minus 24 minus 10 minus 14 minus 14 by 28 minus 14 by 28 and last one would be let us make it 180 by 28 if we make it 180 by 28 so this becomes 180 by 28 and this is 72 by 28 so it will make it a 252 by 28 can we cancel these also yes we can cancel them 14 twos are 28 14 ones are 14 11 carry 14 eights are 2 then we get 9 so it will be a 9 and this is 14 by 28 so this is our first row converted we have a 0 3 minus 4 we have a 1 0 minus half and 9 similarly we can transfer the second row also use of other color old row now this time we need to transfer the second row the second row so we'll make it old row 2 key column element 2 new row 2 so old row 2 we have a 1 0 4 by 28 then there is a 0 minus 6 by 28 then there is a minus 2 by 28 and finally there is a 10 by 14 key column element 2 key column element 2 minus 6 by 28 this is minus so it will cancel out these negative signs making it 6 by 28 you can pause this video you can forward this video you should also try solving these questions by your own hand multiplied by modified key row modified key row modified key row is here we have modified key row third one was our row it is 0 7 minus 3 0 1 minus 2 and 6 making it 1 plus 0 would be a 1 this is 6 7 are 42 2 divided by 28 you can cancel it with 14 3 by 2 here you have a 28 6 3s are 18 minus 18 and 4 minus 14 by 28 making it minus half this will be a 0 minus 6 by 28 plus 6 by 28 is a 0 you have a minus 12 minus 2 minus 14 by 28 making it minus half and last one would be 28 we can make it 20 by 28 6 6 is are 36 36 and 20 56 by 28 56 by 28 making it 2 so what are the values that we get for second row we get a 1 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 0 0 minus half and 
टू नाउ बिकॉज दिस टाइम वी हैव एड वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरी लार्ज कैलकुलेशन सो लेट अस चेक इफ आर आइडेंटिटी मेट्रिक्स इज स्टिल इन टेक्ट एस वन एस वन वॉज वन रिमेनिंग कॉलम वॉज जीरो एक्स वन एक्स वन वॉज वन रिमेनिंग कॉलम वॉज जीरो एक्स टू एक्स टू वॉज वन रिमेनिंग कॉलम वॉज जीरो Here we have an S1, S1, 1 remaining column zero. X1, X1 is one remaining column is zero. S2, S2 is one remaining column is zero. So our identity matrix is still intact. Now can we have our CJs? Then CJ minus ZJ giving me my net evaluation row. C, sorry. Now can we have our ZJs and CJ minus ZJ? Now let us find out ZJs. ZJs would be two. Three minus one zero zero and one, giving me C J minus Z J zero minus four zero 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 minus one. So everything here is either zero or negative. So we can say that we have finally reached our final best optimal solution possible. And what is the optimal solution that we have right now? Let us put it over here. The optimal solution is x1 is equal to 2, giving me a z of no x2s, no x3s, only x1s. X2 is zero. There is no x2. There is no x3. So I'll only be producing x1, and quantity would be 2. So z would be a 2x1 plus, uh, rather it is minus. Minus x2 minus x3, making it 2 into 2 minus 0 minus 0, making it 4. So I can say that this is the best possible solution for the given problem using simplex and two-phase method. Why we made use of two-phase? Because of these artificial variables. So this was it for our today's problem. the lecture got a bit lengthy because of these calculations now in the lectures to come we'll advance our discussion on linear programming to integer programming and other related issues so thanks for watching bye bye take care